so Tony, do contractor pensions differ compared to private pensions? Um, well, they don't differ in terms of the um, the structure of, of the investments per se, um, but where they do differ is how uh, the pension will actually be funded. Um, what uh, what a permi would do is he'd uh, fund his pension, a personal pension, say, or a self-invested personal pension, a SIP, um, from his own personal bank account, and um, then he'd claw back the, uh, the the tax relief via uh, self-assessment. That's fine if you're on forty, fifty thousand pounds a year. You've got a lot of scope to do that as a as a permi because um, what the revenue will allow you to do is invest a hundred percent of of salary. So somebody on fifty grand could actually, if they had the means to do so, invest fifty thousand um, pounds. Obviously, it doesn't take uh, Einstein to to work out that uh, that poses problems. That hundred percent of salary issue poses problems for contractors. Because certainly if they're working through a one-man limited company, um, what they'll do is invariably pay uh, a very very low salary, um, maybe up to the NI threshold, and then take the rest of their income as dividends. So you could be looking at a maximum investment that a contractor could make um, personally of six thousand, seven thousand pounds. Um, crucially, where the uh, the contractor uh, then has um, some flexibility is um, to use their limited company to fund a personal pension um, as, a, uh, as a corporate um, uh, investment and, and as an employer's contribution. So whilst the, the pension structure is the same, how you actually go about getting the money into uh, to, to the pension pot uh, is, is very much different. They're also, for a, a limited company contractor, um, there are a, a number of other uh, pension vehicles that are, are open to uh, the individual. He can fund uh, an executive pension via the limited company or a, a small self-administered scheme, uh, a SAS, through uh, the limited company as well. And um, there are uh, various, um, you know, sort of uh, advantages to some of those other structures, um, all funded via the, the limited company and um, and all basically invested in the, 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 the same manner, um, but uh, uh, just with a, le- a wee bit more flexibility as to how uh, benefits are taken and, and what you can do with, with the money when it's in the pension. Well, um, thank you very much for your time today. And um, if you as wanted to get in touch with you to talk about pensions, what would be the best way? Sure. Well, um, we have a website, www.contractfinancials.com, but um, if uh, individuals had a, a question for me um, directly, um, my email is tonyh at contractorfinancials.com or uh, I'm available on 0845 062 8888.